ladies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a wedding makeup essentials kit for you all and these are great little things to have on the day of the wedding just so you don't run into any little bumps in the road and you've got everything you could possibly need. And even if you're just a bridesmaid or anything this would really help if you just brought these things along for the bride because the bride already has already has enough things to worry about. So I really hope you like these and there's some great tips I've got for you all. So I hope you enjoy it and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down maybe here in the corner. Maybe it's down there. So that really made my day and I would love it. So stay tuned for more wedding videos. Bye! Anyone could use. So first of all, you've probably already thought of this, but you may need to switch out your shoes because Heels are not always the most comfortable to dance in, and you definitely don't want to be having blisters, so always bring a pair of shoes to change into. Going off that, you may need band-aids for blisters if you just couldn't get out of those shoes quick enough. So that, or maybe some kid on the dance floor hurt his little knee and needs a band-aid. Definitely going to need tissues because it's a very emotional day and everyone is going to be crying of joy. So this is really great to have. The next, which I hope doesn't happen to anybody in the wedding party whatsoever, but you may need a sewing kit just in case a dress rips. And you never know, accidents do happen, people step on dresses and they rip and it's just really devastating so I'd always bring just a little mini sewing kit. And you won't have to worry about that rip. So next I would say hair products. You're definitely going to need bobby pins. So I have this little um, pill box full of bobby pins just in case you have flyaways um, through the night or anything you just need to pin down if your hair is falling or from dancing. and you just It's really nice to have some bobby pins and with that a hairbrush because maybe your hair is down and you need to just brush it through to make it look better in the pictures. It's just great to have. And hair spray, because if you do have a flyaway, you can just pin it back and then spray it and it'll stay. This way, if halfway through the night your curls are starting to fall, you just spray them a little more just to make sure they stay. Because I know for me, my hair, as soon as I start sweating, it just drops. So that's not okay if I'm going to be in my wedding pictures. A few more things you'll need, um, probably deodorant, I mean, sweating, dancing, maybe an outdoor wedding, you want to smell good. And if you're a total, like, sweat ball, which, you know, some of us are, you just can't help it, I recommend these Certain Dry, they're antiperspirant pads, so you just put them on your, wipe them on your armpits just a few hours before the wedding, and this will keep you dry all night. You're going to need hand sanitizer. Who knows about that uncle that you had to shake hands with? You don't know what he did in the bathroom, so hand sanitizers I must. You don't want to be rushing into the bathroom every time something happens or it gets on your hands or you touch something weird. So hand sanitizer and lotion maybe. Maybe you get dry if you have dry hands. I don't know. So lotion is definitely something good to have just in case. Last but not least, for the, like, to smell good, I would say bring your perfume that you use that day. I have this little roller bottle, and this is Taylor by Taylor Swift, which is a very nice scent. And you just want to put it on your wrists, behind your ears, like on the back of your neck, in between your arms, or like the crease of your elbow, right here. And those are your pressure points, so this is going to, like, really smell and this is how people are going to smell you better versus just spritzing on yourself. These are the book good points to put them on. Um, you want to keep a reapplying through the night, not like drench yourself in it, but just because you'll be hugging everyone and you want to smell good. And then after the wedding, when you go back and smell this, all those memories are going to come rushing back and it's just going to be a fragrance close and dear to your heart. So pick something special. And after dinner, you're definitely going to want mints or gum because like I said, you're talking to everybody and everyone's going to be coming up to you and you want to have fresh baths so that they don't go running for the hills when you have onion breath or something from the dinner. 
Last but not least in my bag will be the makeup essentials. So I have um, cleansing towelettes and this is really nice just in case you have any makeup fallout or anything. Maybe you're just kind of sweating and you want to wipe down your arms so that you feel a little refreshed and light again. Um, I say you bring a few q-tips, this is a little excessive, but just in case you need to touch up the eyeshadow or anything. Um, makeup, or <laughs> your lipstick always needs to be replied, just you're talking, you're taking pictures, and you're gonna need it. So this is um, Costa Chic by MAC, and this is a really pretty light color. It's very, like, nice coral-ish pink, so it's really good for weddings. And you're gonna need to retouch um, your blush. And this is Style by MAC. This is really pretty um, peach color. It looks very natural on the cheeks, which would be a good color for a wedding. Also, blotting sheets are a must. I don't care who you are, you're gonna need a blot in between pictures every once in a while because moving around, maybe you got a big dress, it's gonna get hot and you make it. Um, a little oily and you just don't have any shine in the pictures whatsoever so after you use the blotting um, sheets you're gonna want to use a powder so here in my bag I have the bare minerals translucent powder and this is really nice because this way you can use it on anybody that way like you don't have to worry about their skin not matching to it really good idea is to do this on the groomsmen's face in their t-zone right before pictures just so that they don't have any shine in the pictures right here because I mean for me since I'm a bit oily I always have this shine right here and I hate that so this just mattifies their face and it looks makes them all look fat or makes them all look flawless other little makeup essentials you might need concealer bronzer um, setting spray this is something that I recommend I don't know Whoever's doing your makeup, just bring some setting spray, maybe it's yourself. I like to do this before my foundation, after my foundation, and then after my whole makeup look is complete for like special occasions. This is just going to make sure it's staying all night, and I really like this. It works really well. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, you could just do a little travel size for, from Sephora or something if you're not looking to do this every day. And then, of course, you're going to want your waterproof mascara because you may need to touch up those little lashes that you've been crying and wiping off tears from, so definitely bring a mascara to touch up. So I really hope this video was some great tips, and I hope the wedding goes off without a hitch because no one wants to be upset about any little imperfections. So have a great time, and I hope these worked for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more and give it a thumbs up. Alright, bye.